if you want to display the data in bullet format or like list format you have to use the ol tag the ol tag contain the attribute type the type stand for whatever the type of you have to display here the type may be numeric may be small alphabet or may be capital alphabet or small uh, roman or capital roman to remember that these are the five type you can use it and in numeric small alphabet capital alphabet small roman capital roman you want to go and use any one at one time if you don't define any type then by default the type will be numeric 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you want to define the type whatever type you will define it may be small a or capital a or small i or capital y that is going to display it here okay as of now let me add it here suppose capital i okay i am going to display all these things after completing the order list we have to go for another one is called on order list what is on order list let me show you this is for order list let me go for another one called on order list The same syntax. Instead of U O L, you have to use U L. Let me remove this type. There is no type for U L. Type U L and save it. Okay. You can see that order list contain either one, two, three, or um, small a, capital A, all these things. But on order list, there is no concept of this kind of text. It is always be in point point structure okay means if you ask me what a difference between order list and unordered list both are looks equal only order list you have to use ol tag in on order list you have to use the ul tag but in order list you have a type as attribute in type you have to define different different type of like different type of syntax you have to add here it may be numeric alphanumeric it may be roman character anything but in on order list there is no such kind of type to define this kind of bullets point okay <clears throat> but you have a question how i can change these points to different different kind of structure means suppose i want to add these points to suppose i want to display these uh, dot dot to circle square or different different format or i just want to remove this point how you can do that okay because order list always contain these three structure numeric alphanumeric roman but in on order list there is no such kind of type but if you want to change this bullets point to different different type of different different type of structure or different, different type of format then you have to use the style format means as i explained in first class if you want to add any kind of a style to a element to a <clears throat> tag then you have to write the style tag okay in style tag you have to define a attribute called list style type in list style type we have basically four are there one is circle if i save it and refresh you can see that this one changed to circle okay and if i add it square and save it if i refresh you can see that it displaying in square format you got it it displaying in square format if i change this one to this display a default round format and if you don't want to display any kind of bullet you can add it here none totally remove means in on order list ul if you want to change 
the styling of these points styling of this bullet then you have basically four structure are there okay what are these <clears throat> you will contain four type one is one is this second one is circle third one is square fourth one is non but as in ol there is attribute called type equal to whatever type will specify but in on order list there is no such type attribute if you want to change the style of the on order list you have to use the style concept okay style inside the style we have attribute we have attribute called list style type you have to remember this one list style type the list style type contain four attribute what are this is circle square and non non means it's not going to display all these points if you are square there then what will happen the data will display in a square format okay if you're going to add the circle here it will going to display the circle one sorry just a second To display the circle one if you specify as a disk this format then you display the dot 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 bullet point if you don't specify anything here the default one will be disk okay means in order list the default is numeric in type list the default is disk okay i think you all are clear about the order list and on order list this is the only thing when you want to add any kind of bullet point or any kind of list data in your html you have the two options one is ol another is ul ol you can format the points based on different different types the type will be numeric alphanumeric roman character but in ul you have to present here different different type of shape one is a disk shape, one is a circular shape, another one is a square shape, another is non. Non means it's not going to display anything here. This is all about HTML list. Then we'll go for new concept called table. <clears throat> Let me explain on this thing. By default, list contain these four type predefined type. But the arrow and all these things you cannot add but if you want to add different different format here like suppose you want to add arrow or you want to add some custom icon here all these things then we have to write the css for that okay in css chapter i'll go and cover how you can go add the different different images or different different structure different different icon instead of this default uh, type okay that i will cover in style style class css class okay that I already have mind that how we can like override the default style to our user driven style okay that i will cover in the style class because for that you have, we have to know how, what is style how you can write the different different uh, structure of a style that i will explain in style class but in this only you have to know that how to add a order and or on order list Okay, that I will cover in style class. Clear? Okay. Here, today what we cover, we covered about list. In list, we have two list. One is order, another is on order. Let's go and start with a list, a uh, table. Okay, just a second. Let me create one file.
let me write default structure of HTML. HTML. <coughs> Head. Body. We are going to discuss about table. Before going into table, how it's work and what is table, let me draw one um, simple image. You will know that how what is a table structure. I think all you know the Excel, right? When we ex open Excel, that time the Excel contain this kind of structure, like there is a, some columns, columns and yeah, rows, rows, right? Perfect. Let me explain all these things. And rows. Load all these things. I just added all this unnecessary. Means this area, this area in a table, or a, if you know the Excel one, this area we called at row. Called as row. But this top area, sorry, this area we called as column. So first understand this concept what is row, what is column. The vertical one. This vertical one we call as a row, the horizontal one we call as a column. Means the definition of table is table is the combination of row and columns. Let me write that one. What is table? Table is combination of rows and columns. Means when we create any table, that time you have a row and you have a column. In HTML, if you want to create a table structure, why table structure? Because suppose you want to display employee information, name, address, phone number, gender, etc. For that reason, you need a table, right? To display data in tabular format, as you are de uh, designing in your Excel. Same way, if you want to design a row and column in, column in a HTML, you ha we have a certain HTML tag. Okay. What are these? Let me explain that one. <clears throat> you can see this cell. Sorry. So this is a one row. This is a column. This is one of the cell, right? This is called table cell. Means row and column. If you go for one of the column cell, we can call it a table cell. Just remember the name is table cell. The whole is row, this whole is column, but this individual box you are seeing, right? The, we are calling is table cell. These are different, 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 different cell, okay? But this, this, this cell in table, we are calling as table data. That I will go for that. Before we have to understand what is row and column, I think you already go that what is row and column, and this box we are calling a table cell. Cell means one of the box. Okay. For adding this row and column, we need a certain uh, tag. Let me add a table tag. To add a table in your HTML, you have to use a table tag. Table tag start, table tag end. Okay. Clear? Let me explain. I will explain this one. Just a second. Okay. Let me compare to this image. 
to add a table we have to use the table tag to add a row you have to use tr tr stands for table row tr start tr end what i call i have a columns right every have columns suppose add a columns we have a th th stand for table heading i will i'll write all this thing table heading and table heading start tag and end tag and if you want to specify the table heading let me add it here suppose name <coughs> same way you want to add multiple table heading you can suppose name address age gender let me save it and refresh nothing is displaying but just just let that i have a i have added a name address age and gender you can see that i want to add the column the same way the first one will be name it will be address it will be age and it will be gender okay and then I want to add the name, address, age, and gender, right? For that, you want to add a second row. First row is dedicated for column. You have added the column here. Sorry. You have added the column here. And next one, you want to add the data here. Data part, right? Your name and gender, all these things. Then for that, you have to add a new row. As I told, a table is combination of a row and columns. Then you have a first row here. The first row contain your columns. Sorry. The first row contain your columns and second row contain your data. To add a data to a column, then you have to syntax called TD. TD stands for table data. So name I will add suppose um, suppose John. And address I will add suppose TD. Hyderabad. Okay. And I'll add the A suppose 25. Another general I'll add. You can see that for a displaying name, address, age, gender. I have added as a table heading or you can say that column heading. If I open Excel, I will explain all this. It is not looking like a table. Yeah, it is not looking like a table. That I, 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 that I will go there. You can see it here, right? These are the column. A, B, C, D, E, F, all are the columns. A, B, C, D, E are the columns. And these all are, are the table cell or table data or TD. Let me compare this one to this one. Just a second. Sorry. If you compare this Excel to your table, you can see that this is your entire table. A, B, C, D, E, F are the table heading. You can see that TH name, TH is the table heading, means you can say the A, B, C, D table heading and these one two three four the table cells right these all are the table cells we can call it td got it right if you want to add a heading you have to use the th if you want a data then it's a td okay it's not looks like a table that i that i got it it's not looks like a table because everything is displaying as a normal format that will convert it to a table format I think you got it right the basic structure of a table if you want to add a table you have to add the table tag and end the table tag if you want to add a heading because you you know that everything comes under a tr means tr means table row you have to create a row then inside row you have to add a column right the same way if you want to define the heading then you have to define the tr 
you have to define one row then inside the row you have to add a different different column so adding the column you have to use the th tag th means table heading in table heading then suppose next you want to add the data you have to use this you have to add another row inside the another row you have to add the td td means table data table data you can add the data suppose you want to add another row another row then simple copy and paste it here suppose change the name to john to suppose uh, xyz and uh, suppose change to female press it you can see that john is the first row uh, address age male xyz hyderabad 25 female etc okay this is the basic structure of your a table then we'll, we'll go for how it looks like table that i that i'm going to explain to you okay this is the basic syntax you have to know the syntax the syntax is if you want a table then you have to add a table tag if you want to add a row then you have to add a tr tag if you want to add a table heading you have a th if you have a table data you have to add a td okay this is the basic of a table structure okay. let me explain this one in note if you want to add a row you have to add the tag called tr to add a column you have to use th th yeah if you add a cell or data cell then you have to call as td cell means this one guys this one this area this entire cell like in excel we can call this one on a cell right this is one cell or one area that we call cell to add a cell or a data cell we call it a td you have to remember this basic of a table structure okay to add a row tr add a column th add a data cell td always remember one table contain only one th row means th means one not th means one heading name address age gender okay this is the basic of suppose you want to create a table right this table you want to add a header you have one header then then you have a data now as you told like there is no this is not looks like a table because there is no head there is no border on all these things right this is for that how we can add a border to a table to add a border to a table there is a basic syntax for that what is the syntax let me add that syntax in table you have to go for style tag okay. in the style tag what will add you have to add border 1px just example it not displaying anything okay why it not displaying because table don't have any styling it should be applied for a th or a td okay let me go how i can add a style for a table before going into in depth into style of a table I want to explain the other structure of a table because style will start because style is another totally entire different topic. But if what are the different structure of a table? Now basic you have to know what how to add a tr and th and td. But apart from this tr, th and td, there is another structure of a table. Let me go and explain you. Each table, <coughs> each table divided into three part okay what are the part each table divided into three part the first part is head part this one is the body part this is the footer part as you know head body footer means when you design any of the table in your html you have to specify which one is the head part which one is the body part which one is the footer part you will ask me why this is required this is totally optional one but 
when you design a table you have to always remember that which one you should add in head body and footer if you don't add into head and body into footer you are not getting an error but for break practice for a table designing you have to go for these three concept okay then i will ask what is the use of this three structure okay just example you are designing one accounting software okay you are designing an accounting software like uh, in accounting software in header part you are going to display suppose uh, accounts name and suppose product name and um, quantity all these things are displaying after adding all this data you want to display the sum and sum you should display here right you should display the sum the down part okay this area you have to display some suppose you enter some data here you enter some data Good. here yeah you want to add some amount here and suppose 1000 2000 3000 4000 and total you have to display the down right now the question how you can design this kind of structure if i uh, suppose if I want to elaborate this entire table, what I'll say, this area, this area is, this area is my head. This area is my body and this one is my footer. Means whenever you are going to display any head, you have to use the head one. Whenever displaying any data, you have to use the body part. Whenever you want to display any information about all this data, then you have to use the footer part. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to use all these things, but it's always better to notify that this is for head, this is for body, this is for footer. Now the question, how we can going to add this head, body and footer to a HTML? Okay, to add a head you have to use the syntax called t head this is just a syntax the browser know that this is used for table heading what i'll do i'll copy it cut it here i'll paste it here if you see the output you can see there is no changes here means as i told this is just a logical separation means you have to do a logical separation in your mind that okay i have used all these columns in between the t head and this data in t body and the output or any other information in the t footer this is simply a logical separation in your mind but if you want to add this kind of tag then it will always be recommended by suppose i will explain why it's required but suppose you want to add anything in T header part, then you have to use the T head tag. The same way, if you want to add anything in T body, means in the body part, you have to use the T body. T body stands for table body. Okay. <clears throat> this is an additional tag. It's up to you. If you remember, it will be good. If you don't remember also, it's good. But it's always recommended that you have to remember the table. Why it's required? Because I, I have separate in my mind that okay this part going for head part this part going for body part and other part I will go for footer part it's just a logical separation for you if I refresh this one you can see there is no changes here it's just displaying as it is okay the same structure if I go and the footer part I will add rt foot Here, I add the same structure. You can see, if I add this one or don't add this one, there is no changes into table. But I am saying that these are the basic structure of a table if you want to add a table header you have to add inside the table head if you want to table body you have to add a table body and if you use the table foot then it's a table footer why it's required that i have to know as you know the html don't have any error 
means if you write any wrong syntax or if you add anything in the syntax then it's not know that you have error or not means HTML is not going to throw any kind of error to you but there is a certain site suppose you are de developing this site and you want to do for a search or search engine optimization and you want to validate that whatever HTML you are writing that is perfect or not for that we are using some toolkits to check that your HTML code is perfect or not to checking that your site is W3 standard. Now I have question, I am talking about W3 standards. Means W3 standards, when W3 standard means World Wide Web standards means they have defined certain protocol to write a HTML syntax. Means whenever define a table, that time what are the basic structure of a table you have to mention. If you write or don't write, there is no meaning of write or don't write. But it is always be recommended you have to use the T head, T body, and T footer. If you don't have footer, don't use. If you don't have uh, header, don't use. If you don't have body, don't use. But if you have this kind of separation in your page, in your HTML page, always go for T head, T body, and T footer. It is just a syntax. You have to remember that this is the section for body, this is a section for footer, this is a section for header. Nothing else. This is just an example. Okay. As I told, yes, a table divided into three parts: head part, body part, footer part. Okay. Header part will contain the data about the your page, like this one. This is your um, <clears throat> content body part, this is your footer part. I am going to design all these things. This is a best practice to add a table. If you add or don't add, it's not going to affect anything. But it's always be good to add this type of section. It will always be good. Okay. Now this is the basic of a table structure. Okay. Let's go and do the row span and column span. Before going into that, let me add some kind of table structure here okay don't go into that let me add something here because it should be looks like a table just a second guys Okay. Okay. Now you can see that. Okay. You forgot about this tag, uh, guys. Uh, that I will explain in the style set class. As of now, just forget about all these things. That I will explain all these things later. But remember that this is, looks like a table, right? Say heading one. This is your content. This is your total. Now you can see that. Let me change this one to some different one. Suppose I want to display the total number of count of this, this data. Now I want to display total as 2. But the things will be if I, if I add this total and 2 here, this extra row is displaying, right? Let me go and explain about row span and column span. What is row span and column span? Let, let me give an example. Your example right i want to display the total number of rows we have total number two rows right sorry we have two rows here i just want to display like total equal to two here now you can see that i want to display i want to write total here and i want to remove this two column here okay now how I can remove these two columns and display these two columns only this part. 
because I don't require this footer in these two columns, right? I will display total here and two here. How to do that? This type of table design in HTML. So, so design here we have to use called call span. Call span means column spanning. Okay, we have to use concept called call span. Call span means column span. How do I call span? Suppose you want to display total here, right? Total and you have to display count as 2. Let me remove this one. Save it. If you refresh. Total equal to 3, right? But I just want to remove these two columns because these two columns is not required anymore. Okay. Then now how you can go into remove these two columns? You told I will go simple and remove these two columns, right? This is the one structure. What will happen? You can see extra height space is coming here. If you remove the columns, because you already know that the row contain one, two, three, four columns, means each and every row you have four columns. And the last one, you want to remove these two extra columns. If you remove two extra columns, what will happen? The whatever two extra columns you remove that one going to display as a this one blank one but my structure is total should be display here and three should be display here so, sorry two should be display there now how i can do that the first one is if you remove this td it's not going to work if you remove this two td it's not going to work to solve this kind of problem we need the structure called call span okay means here you are going to remove the two column to remove the two column you have to add the attribute called call span call span how much column you remove you remove two column remove this two column and add call span two the problem is <coughs> let me add In the previous example, if I remove two columns, it is just occupy these two columns, but it not calculating this column. You see it, it one white space we are getting, right? If you are adding call span two, it will, what is tell, it is removing the two columns, but it's not considering the same column, this column. For that, if you want to remove two columns, and you have to display this total as a full column, then you have to add additional one column extra. This two TD, two column, okay, just a second. This two TD, two column here, and for this TD, another column here, in total three column. Means these three columns, this one will treat as a three columns. You got it? That is the use of call span. If using this TD, it will treat that this call span 3 means it will treat this one, this one, this one. For that reason, it has saved it, it will occupy 1, 2, 3, these three columns here. Got it? It's always occupied this three sub first column, two column, three column. If I only add it here two columns, it will only consider me 1, 2. Okay, you got it. Any doubt here? If you want to add any call span means it will the meaning of call span means it will calculate this entire column how many columns means the combination of these columns. If I write three means it will treat this column is consist of three columns. For that it displaying three separation one two three. Got it? Clear? Call span means if you want to display one column instead of multiple columns, then you have to use the call spanning. As I told it here, TD is stands for, this TD is stands for three columns, means one, two, three. For that reason, I have written here call span equal to three. It, what it will does, it will create internally 
three columns and display it here. Got it? Interline three columns and treat as a one column only. Due to that, we are using the call span. Now let's go and copy the same table and create another structure. This is the column span one. Let me write. This is the column span. The row span. Okay. Now let's we'll discuss what is column. You already know that what is column span. If you want to dream, if you want to merge multiple column to one or multiple then you have to use the column span same way as a row span if you want to go and merge multiple row into one you have to use the row span clear first one is column span if you want to go and merge multiple column multiple table cell into one table cell then you have to use the call span the same way if you are going to use instead of instead of column if you are going to merge the row into same way suppose you want to merge multiple row into one cell then you have to use the row span okay let's go and discuss how we can work for uh, this um, row span what we'll do we will merge this two hyd to only one okay means this two hyd will merge into only one hyd let's see how we'll do that To do that, we have to write this one right. We have to write here row span equal to two. Simple one, but you can see that HYD also added here. Okay, what I'll do, I'll go it here and remove this HYD. it first column span i will explain later row span in this area in this area okay this area what i did i have merged this two row to only one for that if you are going to merge two row column two row td to single td you have to use the concept called row span what i did in first row i keep this td and mark row span 2 in second row i have removed this td means this hyd td i remove what it will do it will take first one td and the second one it will trigger two row we have one it will trigger one let me copy this one and paste another one and in instead of uh, right mumbai you see that i have merged this first two the first row and second row this column into one column and here i have same structure okay means the row span means if you are going to merge two row cell into one row you have to use the row span and in the same cell you want to merge multiple cell into one cell you have to use the column span clear let me write this one call span means same row merge multiple row into sorry multiple td or cell into single td or cell we used call span okay got it 
in same row merge multiple cell into single cell you have to use user you have to use call span in row span multiple rows merge column into one column we have to use row span i think you all clear it here right in row span column span what you will do in call span in multiple row multiple sorry same row multiple column merge into single column or single table cell we are called as a call span in row span multiple row the one cell merge into multiple cell will called as a row span clear this is a basic concept call span and row span you have to use this one always you have to know all this call span and row span uh, this row span you have to apply the rows for row span we are using row span for column span we are using the call span call span we are using the calls it's up to you how we are going to do that suppose you want to suppose this one you want to merge this three this three to only one just example this row span you want to merge this three to this 25 25 to only one what you will do first you have to go for row span how many rows you want to merge one two three merge then three three, three. then three. what will do remove this data in other other rows save it refresh got it yes sir clear row span column span guys these two are basic uses of a uh, table like you already add a row and column but all the time you are not going to display the same same data all the places right sometimes you have to go and merge this one uh, or merge this all these things for that you have to use two concept column span and row span these are the two concept is here call span row span uh, let me repeat again if you want to merge in one row multiple td or multiple cell into single cell you have to use call span same way in row span you have to merge in multiple rows td into single row td then you have to use the row span all this uh, all these things i will cover in actually style sheet but as of now let me add this one uh, but uh, for you like because there are a lot of I, uh, as i told from day one all this styling alignment everything actually we have to cover in style class but let me add this one for hyd you want to add we have a style style class and we have to use text align got it Actually, I, I'll go that uh, that part um, because tomorrow uh, Monday we will complete the HTML using the forms and everything because HTML we are just displaying the this black and white format right. If you going to start the uh, CSS, yes. then we'll non uh, we'll go for all your doubts like how to align, how to left align, right align, center align, all these things we'll cover in CSS because CSS will be vast chapter. But before that, we have to know that the basic of a HTML what is required to start a normal website designing in monday we'll go and start work on the form one and later we will go for another day to discuss about all whatever left in html we're going to display like how we are going to add a video how can i add an iframe that will going to cover in one day and from wednesday we'll start from the style sheet style sheet will be uh, like this will be very uh, like um, you have to love that one because we have to go and styling the site from that day only we can start from the website designing but before starting the website designing you have to know that basic concept of a style and how style works what are the different, different structure of a style you have to learn once people know the basic of a style how we are going to going to write all these things then we will start a scratch from a website like whatever maybe you choose amazon or flipkart or any site you'll go and start from there 
But before that, you have to know like how to create all these things. What is the concept of row span collapse? Because you have to know the basic concept. Once you know the basic, then we'll yes, go sir. for the website designing. Okay. Don't be hurry because we yeah. already have a lot of time. Just take like we have to spend a little bit two or three classes more. Then we'll start the actually full fledged website designing. Okay.